this is Jenny from 21 Songs in Six Days here to teach you Lonely Blues. Lonely Blues is a song that I composed to basically teach the blues. Uh, the 12 bar blues comes out of the African American community and it uses a musical form of 12 measures. So we'll go over the harmony of the 12 measures first. Uh, we are going to use a C chord, which is considered the one chord, the first chord in C major or the tonic. We're going to use an F chord which is the four chord in the key of F major or the subdominant and then we're going to use a five seven chord I mean a G seven chord which is the dominant chord in the key of F major and it is considered the fifth the fifth note of the scale you go C D E F G and so the blues basically I think of it as four lines three lines of music three lines of music with four measures in each line so if I'm going to play one beat per bar, this my first line is going to be all C's. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Then I'm going to do two measures of my four chord and my F chord. And this is my second line of music, or the fifth measure of the blues. One, two, three, four. Two, two. Then back to C. C, two, three, four. C, two, three, four measures now and now I'm going to do the last four measures of the pattern so I'm going to do a 5-7 chord which is my G7 and then an F chord which is my 4 chord then back to two C chords and that makes my 12 measures so that's the simplest form of the blues of course any song that's going to be worth its salt will vary that but this is the simple version of it now in order to make the song sound sort of bluesy, I'm going to use a strumming pattern that is uneven. Strum three. And I'm playing a major chord, which has an E natural in it. The first note is a blues note, E flat. Because in the blues, we have, uh, basically in Africa, they had equally distant pentatonic scales and those notes could not be realized on European instruments well violin they could because violin doesn't have frets but on a piano or a saxophone or something like that they couldn't and so what you tended to do in order to create a bluesy sound is you would have an E flat with an E natural and you would slide and that made the song sound bluesy so when I sing the song it starts here look what you've done that gives it the bluesy sound. So that's the bit about the melody. Now the way I wrote the song is that we do a verse of melody, then we do a verse where there's opportunity to improvise. So I would ask that half of the people in a class would play the chord pattern, and the other half would improvise over the blues scale. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the blues scale. I've decided to take my first finger and put it in my third fret. And then I'm going to put my third finger in my fifth fret where I have a dot. And I'll put my fourth finger in the sixth fret. And I can do that on the uh, second string as well. And if I choose to use any of those notes over the chord pattern of the 12 bar blues, in any rhythm, I'm going to get a solo that sounds kind of bluesy. So what I'm going to do right now, and you can follow along, is sing the song, and the first time through the first verse, I'm going to play the strum three pattern and use the blues chords. Then in the chorus where it says soloing chorus, uh, I'm going to improvise a solo, and if you're playing along, I'd say go ahead and continue strumming the pattern of the blues, and then we'll go to the third verse, which has different words, and uh, then we can work on it so that you guys can have an opportunity to take solos yourself and learn a little bit about improvisation. So here it is, we start on an E flat and I play a chord like this. One, two, here we go. Look what you've done, what you've done, my God. Switch to F.